In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the appearance of visited hyperlinks in your Captivate project. I got a message from one of my viewers that was concerned about hyperlinks in their Adobe Captivate project. When the learner clicked on the hyperlink, it didn't change the appearance of the hyperlink. And I started to think about this and is there a way we can do this? And while it's not something that's built into Adobe Captivate, I think my solution will work well for most situations. Let me show you. All right, so what I've got here is a shape with some text in it, and I'm gonna include the hyperlink to take you to adobe.com. Now, I'm not gonna create it in the traditional set. First thing I'm going to do is I need to create an additional state for this text caption, if you will. We'll just call it visited, click OK. And I'm not gonna change anything about that visited state yet. Let's uh, click away so that it returns to the normal state here. And I'm gonna start writing an advanced action. So this advanced action will be visit URL or some name like that. We're gonna do two things. We're gonna, first of all, change the state of our smart shape to that newly created visited state. And we're also going to open a URL or file in this case here. We'll take the learner to adobe.com and we will select a new window for that. Now I'm gonna save this as an action, click OK, click Close. You may wish to select retain state on slide revisit if learners will be coming back to the slide from other slides so they can see that they previously clicked on that hyperlink. So we'll go ahead and select retain state on slide revisit. Now what we wanna do is start to create our hyperlink uh, in the actual shape text itself here. So we'll click on the insert hyperlink, of course, with our text selected. And instead of launching into a web page, we're going to execute advanced actions and we'll choose the visit URL advanced action that we're running here. Uh, it does say it's going to run it in a new window. Um, I'm already running the URL in a new window, so I'm actually not sure what to do here. I'm going to leave it as new for right now and we'll click OK. So now I have the hyperlink in place here. If we go to our visited tab, we'll see the same hyperlink here, but it's not a hyperlink right now. So what we can do is select a hyperlink and we'll execute advanced actions, visit URL, and we'll stick with new for now. And of course, now I can change this. So let's change the appearance of the hyperlink to make it look visited. In this case here, perhaps it just gets grayed out. So let's test this out here. We'll preview this in HTML5 in browser. Okay, there's our hyperlink. We'll follow that and it takes us to Adobe. And if we return here, we now have the visited state of the entire shape, but more importantly, it shows that the link has been pressed. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to provide lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.